Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. Listen, somebody uh, on a forum asked about the age of accountability, and uh, I answered them. I do believe the Bible teaches the age of accountability is 20 years old, at least for the males. Uh, let's see. Exodus 30 and verse 14. Exodus chapter 30 and verse 14. Everyone that passeth among them that are numbered from 20 years old and above, 20 years old and above, shall give an offering unto the Lord. So one was not required to offer a sacrifice for himself until they were 20 years old. Otherwise, the father of the household was offering on behalf of his family. In other words, under the headship of of the family. Second witness, Numbers chapter 1 and verse 3, from 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel, thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. Armies, okay? 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel. Thou and El Aaron shall number them by their armies. Each tribe was considered an army. The draft age in Israel was 20 years old, not 18. So they were not considered an adult until then. How about Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18? And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families. You know, what tribe? Their pedigree. Uh, let's see. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old, from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So a census of the adults was not reckoned until they were 20 years old. Now, I am of the opinion that um, all the children that were aborted died in childbirth, died at a young age. What is that age? I'm not exactly sure. But uh, that all those children are going to be able to be given a chance to grow up in the millennial or thousand-year reign of Christ after the tribulation, and they're going to be given a chance to accept or reject the Lord. After all, in the kingdoms, Believers do not marry, as Jesus said in Matthew 22 and verse 30. Jesus said, For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given a marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. Well, guess what? Not all the angels are in heaven. Keep that in mind when you read Genesis chapter 6. However, there are children in the kingdom, as witnessed by the book of Isaiah, chapter 11 and verse 6. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. Now, for those preterists that think that everything was fulfilled, and this is Christ's kingdom right now, I dare you, take your children and put them in a lion's cage at the zoo and watch your little child lead the lion. Boy, some people are just so stinking dense. Verse 7, And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. Uh, have you seen lions eating straw like an ox? Uh, last time I watched uh, David Attenborough on the BBC, on the Earth special, uh, they were still hunting animals. So this is not the end. Um, this is not Christ's kingdom. Boy, they're idiots. Verse 8, And the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp. What's an asp? It's a dangerous, venomous snake. And it bites you and you die. 
So why is the suckling child going to play on the hole of the asp? And the wean child shall put his hand on the cockatrus den. Cockatrus, another snake, serpent. So until a lion can eat straw, this does not happen. So my point is, if the believers have resurrected bodies and they're like the angels in heaven and there's no marriage, where are these children coming from? In the kingdom, well, probably aborted, you know, child miscarriages, died in childbirth, uh, you know, that's ma that's the Bob theory. So there's going to be children in the kingdom. So, all right, uh, that's the age of accountability. And oh, by the way, I have an entire Bible study that goes into the uh, where do the children come from uh, that is in more detail. But, hey, you get the idea. So, until you see lions eating straw, eh, this is not the kingdom, okay? All right. Um, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.